hello everybody welcome back to another video of Lil Scratchers and today I'm starting a new tutorial which is the tutorial of a swimming game so in this swimming game we have a swimmer who is just swimming around and he finds obstacles in between and if he touches an obstacle he loses a life and if you lose all your lives then you get a game over so this game is pretty simple and let's jump right into it so right now what i have is a blank project with the uh, cat sprite deleted so i just deleted this cat sprite and let's name our project swimmer game you can name your project whatever you want so and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head over to my backpack and grab the swimmer out of my backpack don't worry guys i'll send these costumes in the scratch community so i'll put the links in the description and you can check them out now we're gonna make the swimmer do some stuff like turn around i mean uh, move up and down and change uh change into a swimming animation kind of thing but before we do that we'll just take a look at the back draw background so now right now the background is just very plain and boring so what in the backdrops uh what are uh, what are we gonna do in the backdrops is that we're gonna just paint a simple picture of a beach scene so what i'm gonna do is for the waters i'm gonna take this splash color of the swimmer and using the eyedropper tool i just take this part and i it'll be stored over here stored over here and what I'm gonna do is head over to my backgrounds and take the rectangle tool, no outline, that is you drop down and you click on this. And then we're just gonna draw a rectangle, a simple rectangle. Put that in the center. And if we want it, we can make it a bit bigger and that's it now we have our water now let's go on and add the sand so the sand is pretty yellowish so let's grab a yellow color and let's make the yellow a bit a bit uh dark so like that and let's Put that right there and put another one down below and there we go now we have our scenario and I think I need to make these even more darker and you can just play around with these guys and check which color is suitable for you I'm just gonna go with this one right here, so yeah. And then I'll just convert it to bitmap and change it back to the vector mode so that you know the rectangles don't go outside the area. And now we have our scenario, I mean, scene. We have our beat scene. We'll place our player right here yep and now if we look at the costumes of the swimmer we can see that it has about 30 costumes and these costumes are the animation costumes that we will be using so if we say when the green flag is clicked forever next costume you can see it kind of like animates as a swimming thing, right? But this animation is very, very fast. 
And to give it a weight, we go to controls and take the weight second uh, weight uh, one second block and change that to 0 0.035. I think that was suitable for me. Uh, you can change it to any desired seconds you want. But for me, uh, for now, I'm just going to have it to 0 0.035. Now, wh what should we do to control the swimmer? <coughs> we use the up and down arrow keys or the W and S keys to move the player up and down. So we'll put that in another when the green flag is clicked script. So when green flags clicked forever, if touching, oops, not this one, uh, if key, if key up or the w, the w key is pressed, then we want it to go up. So... What do we make it to go up? We use the change Y block and we change it by, let's say, 7. And the same thing, you duplicate, you duplicate this and you put this to down and this one as S. Yes. And this, <clears throat> and for this, you change it to negative seven because you want it to go down. And now uh, let's try it out. So now, as you can see, he can go up and down. Well, that's pretty good, but we got a problem. You see how he can go out of the water and run into the sands? That's actually a very bad thing to be done. So what are we going to do is say, uh, let's go to the backpacks again and take out, oops, and take out this barriers sprite. And so I've taken these barrier sprites such that they are kept like this and they act as barriers so what i say to the barriers is when the green flag is clicked uh, that is when the green flag is clicked you go to motion and say go to zero x zero and y actually negative 53 for me in this case uh it depends on the size of the barriers you make and uh, so that you need to change this for the y position and what are we gonna do to the swimmer is say if you're touching if you're touching the barriers then you change y by Negative 7 if the up arrow key is pressed and change y by 7 if the down arrow key is pressed. So it's like in this if statement you put it below this change y by and you got another if statement right here which you put below this if statement and you put this if statement below the change y by so now let's try it out as you can see we are not able to touch the sand and we are only able to stay underwater uh, i mean in, on the water but isn't this so ugly that we have to see this purple barriers every time so what we do is we hide it but what happens when we hide it is that it just hides everything and this and 
these codes doesn't even work. So hiding is not a very good option for this. What we do instead is we set the ghost effect to 100 and we show it instead. So you show it, but the ghost effect makes it so that it kind of hides it, but it's still there in the stage. But what this block means is that it completely gets out of the stage and and the codes in which under which these are put doesn't work. So now, as you can see, we can go here and we can't touch the sand. Now, uh, to make this, uh, to make these even more interesting, what are we gonna do is add some grass above and below the sur uh, below these things. Put it somewhere in there. Okay. Yep, right there. This is the grass below, and we need another grass which is above. So let's call this above grass and go to costumes and just select, okay, select the whole thing and just flip it vertically. And now we got a below and an above grass. Now we have something very interesting. But wait a minute. What about the obstacles? So the obstacles are the things which come from the right side of the stage to the left side of the stage. They start from right side and go towards the left until they reach the left side of the stage. So what are we going to do is we're just going to take out this uh, obstacles right here. And for this video, I'll just brief you about what are the obstacles and how are we going to use them. So these obstacles, what they do is they come from the right side of the stage and move until they get to the left side of the stage how do we move these obstacles well the change x by block comes into play with this and the forever loop they form good friendship and what they do is they help the they help the obstacles move towards the left constantly but this change x by 10 means that it will move towards the right and if you want to move towards the left, you change it to negative 10 or negative, let's say negative 10 for now. And these are going to move from the left. But how are we going to make it so that many of these obstacles come and they move around? That is when the create clone of myself block comes into play this great clone of myself plays an important role in this game because it helps you create clones of these obstacles and then you know make a move around suppose we have like four costumes of this so we have a pikachu cute little pikachu we got a ball we got a bottle and we got a camera so these are the four costumes that we are going to be using and we're going to let the computer decide well which costume uh, which costume it should switch to that is when the switch cost uh, switch costume to and the pick random block comes into play where it helps you choose random costumes. So, uh, so if I show this, 
as you can see it picks a costume of its own uh we we just said pick random one to four so pick random one to four means it chooses a costume between the pikachu and the camera if i say one to two then it should pick either the ball or the pikachu let me show you so it chose the pikachu now it chose the ball the pikachu and it goes on and on and on so that's it guys i think i'm gonna end this video here if you like it smash that like button and guys please please subscribe to lil scratches we have already hit 50 subscribers and now we are aiming for 100 subscribers let's aim for 100 subscribers guys and i'm sorry that it has been so uh so many days since i posted a video because you know there was these exams and i had to study for them but now that i'm back please like share to uh, share to your friends and subscribe to little scratchers i'll see you guys in the next episode good bye